मेरी गोल्ड इज अ मॉडल फॉर मनोक्यूलर डेप्थ एस्टिमेशन इट लेवरेज इज द एक्सटेंसिव प्रायर्स ऑफ जनरेटिव डिफ्यूजन मॉडल्स लाइक स्टेबल डिफ्यूजन फॉर मोर जनरलाइजेबल रिजल्ट मेरी गोल्ड अचीव स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट परफॉर्मेंस इवन ऑन अनफेमिलियर कॉन्टेंट एंड कैन बी फाइन ट्यून एफिशेंटली ऑन अ सिंगल जी पी यू मनोक्यूलर डेप्थ एस्टिमेशन इज अ फंडामेंटल कंप्यूटर विजन टास्क रिकवरिंग थ्री डी डेप्थ फ्राम अ सिंगल इमेज इज जोमेट्रिकली इल पोस्ट एंड रिक्वायर्स सीन अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो इट इज़ नॉट रियली सरप्राइजिंग दैट द राइज ऑफ डीप लर्निंग हैज लेड टू अ ब्रेक थ्रू इन दिस फील्ड द इम्प्रेसिव प्रोग्रेस ऑफ मनोक्यूलर डेप्थ एस्टिमेटर्स हैज मिरर्ड द ग्रोथ इन मॉडल कैपेसिटी फ्राम रिलेटिवली मॉडर्स सी एन एंस टू अ लार्ज ट्रांसफार्मर आर्किटेक्चर बट स्टिल मनोक्यूलर डेप्थ एस्टिमेटर्स टेन टू स्ट्रगल वेन प्रजेंटेड विद इमेज विद अनफेमिलियर कॉन्टेंट एंड ले आउट दिस इज़ वेयर दीज रिसर्चर्स बिंगजिन की एंटन एंड देयर कोलीग्स हैव इंट्रोड्यूस दिस मॉडल कॉल्ड एज मेरी गोल्ड मेरी गोल्ड इज अ मैथड फॉर ए फाइन इन वेरियंट मोनोक्यूलर डेप्थ एस्टिमेशन दैट इज डिराइव फ्राम स्टेबल डिफ्यूजन एंड रिटेन्स इट्स रिच प्रायर नॉलेज these estimators can be fine tuned in just couple of days on a single GP- gpu using only synthetic training data and as i mentioned earlier in some cases they have even shown performance gains of 20% over other models i will drop the link to their github repo in the video description so that you can read along but let me quickly show you their project page too where you can find a link to their google colab which i'm going to show you shortly and also the, to the full paper which is here if you scroll down to this you will see lot of examples where you can see the differences between input and their output let me go to the output this is output and then similarly here and it is also the uh, showing the model comparison between the images and you can see the difference easily and there are heaps of um examples which you can see and this is the architecture where uh, they are telling how it works so primarily what happens is it starts from the pre-trained stable diffusion then some encoding happens over the image into the latent space and then they just fine tune the u net by optimizing the standard diffusion object so after that they do the image conditioning and then a uh, first layer of unit is modified to accept concatenated latent codes and then there is lot of other details which you can check but really really interesting and easy to understand i would say okay now let me show you their colab so you can run it in any linux instance if you want but they have provided this colab so let's try to run it and see if it works first they are just checking some of the coda and python version i am running it as you can see here and they already have provided some of the output but i'm just running it to show you that all of these commands work there you go so it has correctly printed out the nvidia card and stuff let me also show you the code before i run it so we are just cloning the repo here let's run it and after cloning repo they are just seeding into it and this is quite a nice code actually which is just checking if folder is already there if not then it is cloning it that's done and then it is installing all the dependencies so let me run it and all the rep- dependencies which are present in the requirement.txt and then also the for progress bar they are installing the ip widget so let's wait for it to finish and on the right hand side you can see that it is running uh, pretty nicely bit of a bigger one as you can see from this progress bar a pretty cool concept i would say and as you can see this is almost done here let's wait for it to come back and on the top you can see that it is uh, running on gpu t41 still running as you can see from here so at last after 7 minutes 13 second it is all done all the requirements i mean and then there are a few warnings which we will ignore and then let's import and initialize it we're just uh, changing the directory and then importing some of the libraries which we have downloaded 
and then defining some of the functions okay now this is where we do the inference as you can see we are downloading this model marigold and then just piping it through coda and it's not a very very big model so it should be good as you can see the biggest file is just under 3.5 gig which is nice so let's wait for it to finish thankfully the speed looks good today so model has been downloaded and now let's in input our image and then we will play around with it or we can choose any sample one but let's see the code so all they are doing it they are using the widgets to upload the image and stuff so let me run it image is already present and if i go here you can see a lot of input images which are being displayed here you can upload your own image maybe i'll just try to see if it allows me to get my own image it is let me input any any image from my own so i just inputted this image it is uploading at the moment this is just a thumbnail of one of my older youtube videos so let's see okay so image is there and then if you can see the code where they are just displaying the images so this is the image i have uplo uh, uploaded just now and now this is where we run the inference so let me run it and then it should produce an output image somewhere here and you can see that it is performing different diffusion um, and image vision tasks here denoising batches and stuff and then this is where it is estimating the depth at the top so let's wait for it to finish And it has pretty quickly um, predicted the image out of my image and you can see that uh, instead of displaying my image immediately it is displaying this one let me run it there you go so it has converted my input image to this effect which is pretty nice this, this was my original image and this is the output image through the marigold I mean how cool is that okay now if you don't want to go to the <clears throat> trouble of this running the collab or installing it on your local system they also have this hosted demo on hugging face you can simply select any image here for example i'm going to select another of my image maybe this is another one i did and then click on submit and on the right hand side it is going to process it and output one of the depth estimation or you can use these examples from here let's wait for it to finish and from the progress bar you can see that it is almost halfway done so let's wait so there you go uh, as you can see it has produced the predictive uh, depth red near blue far and all that stuff amazing stuff and look at my image it has perfectly identified it too and then there are a lot of other examples which you can play around from here so amazing project i would say and i'm very very impressed by it especially around this monocular depth estimators so i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or if you're stuck somewhere let me know and i'll be happy to help out and of course if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much